What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wawa. I'm your host, Nicholas Rogers. So, you thought this series was dead now, didn't you? Well, you thought wrong, bitch. I've been getting people saying that they really enjoy watching the Amico tutorials, and I've decided to start making this shit a bit more frequently. Like when new shit comes out or I get a banging suggestion, so head to the comments section, boys. But anyway, let's get to the beef of the video. Austin Richard Post is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and producer that goes by the name Post Malone. As of this video, he has released three studio albums, Stony, Hollywood is Bleeding, and the topic of today's lecture, Beer Bongs and Bentleys. Now I started knowing about Post Malone after Stony dropped, I listened to a handful of tracks off of it, and it just wasn't it. But Beer Bongs and Bentleys really got me on Post's side. I don't know what about it, but the catchiness of the record and the diverse style of songs presented from hip hop to rock and even some folk songs with it strictly being guitar and his vocals. But again, music is just part of a good album. The cover for Beer Bongs and Bentleys is really fucking cool. I love the CD look for the album. Something about the cover being this yellow jewel case CD with all these stickers on it and shit look really fucking cool to me. And it kind of saves money because if you like the record and want to get on vinyl, the CD is already the album cover, so just get the CD. So if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm going to show you how to recreate this album cover. So let's fucking jump into it, gamers. So let's get the meat and potatoes out of the way before we get into the little gift fidgets. The base design I'm working on is this thing I got from a website known as blackmarket.co. I have been openly using and talking about this website for a very long time. Totally not sponsored, but goddamn, I think I should be. The file is called jewelcase.psd, and it will give us a high definition base to work off of, and to get our version of the CD looking crisp and professional as possible. Please sponsor me, Black Market. I like your stuff, and goddamn, I hate paying with money. <laughs> Okay, now open Photoshop. Let's start doing the thing I said I was going to do. So once you open the jewel case file, this is what it'll look like. And the beginning is me just kind of trying to figure out what each of the layers do and what getting rid of and adding stuff actually looks like. The stickers that come on it, I moved the white one to the top right, just like Post Malone's. And I didn't, I really liked the sale sticker on it, so I wanted to keep it. So I put that in like the bottom left. I found that just creating a box of the color that I wanted, putting it underneath the highlight and shadow layers, gives me the colored CD case that I wanted. And I made the CD itself the same color as the blue sticker on it. I thought it would have some nice continuity to it. And then I took the sticker, and since everything is 4K, I just stretched it out and it looks virtually un like untouched. And I found that the font used for Post Malone's Beer Bongs and Bentleys, and I found out that the font that Post Malone uses is a very similar font to the one that Brock Hampton uses. Helvetica New LT93 black extended. I just looked around on some websites and found it. It should be there. But it's a italicized version and kind of stretched out. So now it comes to who I want this album to be about. I didn't want to just do like a weird bucket meme or just go with Post Malone again. So I went on my Instagram, shout out to my Instagram, where I asked people, give me a fake band name and a fake album name. And I just kind of picked from there. And the winner of this contest was Jonas Jakinen. I really hope I'm saying your name right. So the artist's name is Jack Malik, and we're working on his album, One Man Only. So I found the Post Malone font, changed it to the color of the blue that I wanted, and then stretched it out all along the side of the jewel case where the hinge opens up, and put it underneath the layer of the shadows and highlights. And it looked fantastic. It looks like real. I did the same thing with the album title, One Man Only. I made it a little stylized, stretched it out so it matches the cover. Added a blue line for some additional graphic design points and some additional text underneath just to add a little bit more flair to the design. And then after this, I decided I did not like the color scheme at all. <laughs> so I kind of just overhauled the design, making it more like Post Malone's album, but instead of going with yellow, I went for a solid red. Changed the colors and everything. That was just poor design choice on me. And then since Post Malone's theme for this album was barbed wire, I found some really cool barbed wire assets. Again, I don't own any of these, but it's for educational uses. Please don't arrest me, internet police. Put it underneath each layer that I wanted, and after I added barbed wire where applicable, I decided I wanted a bit more pizzazz, so I just googled abstract shapes, and then I kind of did the exact same thing I did with the Jack Malik name, and just turn it into the color, and then put it underneath the shadows and highlights layer, so that it looks like it's a part of it. And that gave it this really cool extra bit of oomph, you know? Kind of flushing out the design. And after that, I increased the design, and that's pretty much it. That's how you make a Mimic Post Malone Beer Bongs and Bentleys album cover. Again, this is not sponsored, I really wish it was, because then I can make some money. Blackmarket.co if you want to have a weird jewel case type stuff, and they have a whole lot, bunch of other assets and shit like that. I think I've mentioned them a few other times in videos. But yeah, bro, I really like how this came out. I wasn't feeling it uh, at first with the green and the blue. With the red and the dark blue, it looks really fucking cool. Like, I love the contrasting colors. I think the dark blue really just brings something out of the red. But yeah, man, I want to start doing more album cover tutorials. So if you guys have any ideas of, like, big album covers that I haven't covered yet or, like, weird niche ones that 
are like kind of graphic design heavy that you think I can give my old swing at, I'd fucking love to do it, bro. But yeah, that's about it. All my links are in the description if you want to check it out. New song, Super Jail out March 6th. You know the drill, bro. You've been here before. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Then as long as you stream Jack Malik's new album, then you're good to go. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And have a pleasant day. Thank you.